In this video, we will go through the process of creating a printed circuit board layout with the PCB editor tool using a P-Spice design. The first step in the process is to assign a footprint to each component in our schematic. Here we use R6, which is a resistor, as an example. We double click the component and scroll through the parameters until we find PCB footprint. So here we remove the text in the PCB footprint field and go to the PSPICE symbols directory to find an available footprint for our part. This is located in the cadence SPB underscore 16.5 which is the version of cadence that we're using share, PCB, PCB underscore live, and symbols. In here we will see all the available footprints. For our example we want a resistor footprint so we can choose res 500. If we were working with a capacitor we can choose any of the available capacitor footprints and so on. The desired footprint is something that you'd want to look for in the manufacturer's data sheet. So here we want to copy the name of the footprint without the extension. So we copy that and place that in our PCB footprint column in our design. We save it to our schematic and we can close out. So ideally we'd do this for every single component in our schematic. So I've already done that in this example so we'll move forward to the next step. So in our design files we go to the main project file and go to tools annotate. So here we don't really need to change any of the options so we'll click OK. Acknowledge that the design will be saved and the project is annotated. Then we go to Tools, Design Rules Check. Make sure we have Run Electrical Rules checked off and this will see if any electrical constraints have been violated. Hit OK. If we don't have any errors, we won't see anything pop up. And then we go to Tools and Create Netlist. So here's where we export our files to the PCB Editor tool. So here we want to make sure our output board file is named appropriately so we can find it later on and then we can click OK. Acknowledge that it will be saved. And the PCB editor tool will automatically be open. So the first thing we need to do is create a board outline and this is the dimensions of our board that we want to lay our components on. So we do that by going to the main toolbar, clicking Setup, Outlines, Board Outline. And here there are different options for a type of outline you can choose. We will place a rectangular outline, choose 5 inches by 5 inches. The units are in mils, which is 1 1,000th of an inch. Board edge clearance is how far inside the board you want to keep your components. So we'll choose 200 mils. And then we can see our outline appears on the screen and we click where we want it and then we can hit OK. So the next step is to place our components from our schematic onto the layout. So we do that by going to place and we can place them manually or quick place will throw all the components on the board at once we'll do quick place so here you can see at the very bottom of the screen the unplaced symbol count that means there are 44 symbols that will be placed on the board and this edge field here will tell you where the components will be placed we choose top so all the components will be laid out on the top of the board outline so we click place 
and then OK. So here we can see each component was placed just above the board outline. So the next step would be to move the components inside to the board outline. So to do that, we move to the right of the screen and select All Off in the Find tab. We choose Just Symbols. This will allow us to move the entire symbol together. So we bring in our components one by one, place them where we would like, and the blue lines are what is called the rat's nest and this shows the electrical connections between the components once you place the traces the rat's nest will disappear one by one to show that you've made the connection so I'll open a previously finished layout so we don't have to go through the process of placing each one of these components one by one. So here is a finished layout and we'll go through the process of how we got from the previous step to this step. So the first thing we can we would like to do is set some constraints and constraints are basically the rules you set for the layout in terms of trace width component to component spacing trace 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 to trace spacing so all the different rules that you would like to come into your final outline so we choose electrical constraints routing, wiring, and here we can see we can set different electrical constraints for wiring, vias, etc. So for this purpose we'll choose physical, all layers, and here we can set the minimum line width for our traces. So this comes comes in handy if you're doing an auto routing function where it will route all the traces to the minimum specified width that you have in the constraints. So here we chose 30. And then we go to route, PCB router, route automatic. And here is where we can set the automatic routing options. So we, we select whether or not we want all the traces to be on the bottom side of the board or the top side or both and that's done with this check boxes over here on the left we chose bottom side only because we're using all through hole components so the components will be placed on the top side of the board and the traces will be routed on the bottom here if if you have specific constraints where you would want certain traces to be in certain areas you can pre-route those traces and click the check box for protect existing routes and the automatic routing will route around your existing traces. And then in the selections tab we want to make sure we we select objects to route as entire design and then click the route button. So that will give you a general routing of your layout and you will go through and, and find that you can make some adjustments um, and you can do that using this slide tool here on the right, I mean on the left side of the screen. You click that and then you can click the traces and move them as desired. And this will allow you to give a much cleaner appearance to the automatic router. So once you finish with that, you'll have all your traces routed and all your components placed and this will be used to generate the Gerber files which can be sent to a board house to generate a board file or you can use a rapid prototyping machine if available so to do that we will go to the manufacture artwork command 
and here we'll see available films. So we created two films for this board, bottom and top. So in each one of these films, you specify the different options that you would like to include. So we have the etch option, which is the traces, the pin, which are, are the drill holes for each component, and the vias. Vias are interconnections between one layer between two layers of the board. So we do that for our top and bottom side. If we want to add additional options to our layers, we can right click, add, and go through and add anything that we want. So once we finish creating our different layers, we can click the create artwork button. So here we will generate our Gerber files which can be sent to a board house. And that basically completes the general tutorial for PCB layout. If there are any other things that need to be changed, you can go into the setup, design parameters, design, you can change the units you're using, um, and there are various other settings that you can play around with.